That's right there. Amen. It is a joy to be able to pray. Amen. It's a joy to know the Lord. It's a joy, amen, to be saved. Amen. amen. If you're saved, then you know it, clap your hands. If you're saved, then you know it, clap your hands. Oh, wow. There's some people in here who really need to be saved. Amen. Amen. And you know, anytime we come together in the name of the Lord, we know that that is the case. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because we know that it's nothing new. Now, I want you to know today, amen, that Instagram, man, it's new to me. Instagram's new to me. I got an Instagram account here, amen, and I don't know how to use it, but it's new to me. Amen, it's new to me. I was told that I need to follow somebody named Jojo. I was told that everybody in here would know who that was, the young people. Amen, but I don't know who it is, and I still don't know. Amber saying you didn't say it right, Dad. Who was it? Nobody, she said. It must not be any good then. See, it's new to me. I don't know much about it. And you know, that's just like, amen, a lot of people coming into church, church is new to them. You think that everybody sitting around you have been in the church their whole life, that they know how to do everything they know. Your churchy talk and your churchy walk and your, the way you do church. Amen. It's new to some people. Amen. Church is a new experience. It's a new thing. Salvation is new to some people. They're newly saved. Praise God. Amen. But they, they're still learning how we do things and how things are done. How God would have things done. Because we are the clay and he's the potter. Amen. He's working on us. He's sending messages. Amen. See, I didn't even know how to send a message on Instagram. I didn't know how to send a picture. Ever had to show me. But God, he doesn't have to be shown. He's sending a message to you today. He's sending a picture that's going to be painted clear to many hearts in here today. Amen. And it's going to be instant because God, he does things instantly, doesn't he? Salvation happens fast. Amen. I thank God that it does. Amen. Salvation happens fast, but you're being worked on every day. Amen. 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 You're being maintained. Amen. Because we noticed here last week, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and all those were down. Amen. For maintenance, they said. See, everything needs maintenance, doesn't it? Amen. You as a Christian today, amen, that shouldn't be new to you if you've been walking with the Lord a while. You need maintenance. Amen. You know, and who's going to maintain you? You are in the Holy Ghost day. Amen. Without the power of the Holy Ghost, you don't have what you need. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. You need the indwelling. You need the filling of the Holy Ghost. Amen. To have the power to do things that God has called you to do. Because he's called each and every one in here that's saved. Amen. Oh, my. You see, a lot of people today, we, we take for granted that people know how to do church. Don't we? We take for granted people know how to do church. They walk in the door, and you go downstairs, the Sunday school rooms are there. You know, the nursery's there on the right as you come in on my left now. Amen. You, you, people, you think people know that, but they don't know that unless we tell them. Right. We don't have the best signs, but that's going to change. Amen. But we need to tell people, don't we? Yeah. We don't need to take it for granted. Just like we don't need to take for granted that somebody sitting beside you is saved. We don't need to take for granted because I don't know anybody's heart. Only God hey. knows the heart. Hey. God knows the heart. There are people who pay the smile on and play church real well. Hey. Amen. You may think they're saved, but thinking they're saved and them being saved is two different things. Hey. Amen. Oh, man. That's new to me. Instagram's not new to God. Hey. Amen. You know that? <laughs> oh, my. He knew it was going to come about before the foundation of the world. Hey. He knew what everything was going to be. Amen. You know, God sends us places too, doesn't he? Amen. When we think of God sending us somewhere, man, that's what comes into my mind. Send me there, Lord. Send me there. Send me to the Bahamas. Send me there, Lord. Oh, send me to those white sandy beaches. But you know, that's not always where God sends you. God's going to send you places, amen, that you may not want to go. But when he sends you there, you have to go or you'll be miserable. Just like jobs, when God sends you into a job. Amen. If you don't go where God sends you, you're going to be miserable. It's not always going to be a beautiful resort. Amen. Oh, it may not be Paris. It may not be, amen, Eiffel Tower. But if God sends you there, you're going to love it. Amen. amen. It may not pay what you was making. It may not be doing what you want to do. But amen, if God sends you there, you're going to love it. Amen. Because when you're in the will of God, you're doing great things. Amen. amen. When you're in God's will, you'll be the happiest you 
you've ever been. Amen. amen. When you're in the will of God, amen, it's not going to, it shouldn't be new to you. Right. You'll know if you've been saved a while. When you're in the will of God, you'll know you're in the will of God. Amen. When you're out of the will of God, you'll know that too. Amen. How through the power of the Holy Ghost, amen. He'll reveal it to you. Yes. Oh, my. So if you've got your Bibles, let's turn over to Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. Amen. Oh, my. Oh, I'm in Ephesians. Let's go back to Matthew chapter 10. Children, church, you can go on downstairs. Amen. I about forgot about it. Got a big way. But that's all right, too. Oh, my, my, my. Matthew chapter 10. God's sending you. Amen. Oh, we see. We're going to begin right there in verse number 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. For it is not you that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaks in you. And the brothers shall deliver up the brother to death, and after the father to the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endures to the end shall be saved. Oh, thank God, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. We just pray, God, that you continue to move in a mighty way here today, knowing that you're already dealing with hearts, and Lord, we're going to praise you. We're going to glorify you. We thank you for the good power of the Holy Ghost. And we pray, Lord, oh, Father, that everyone be attentive this short time. In Jesus' wonderful and holy name, I pray. Amen. Touch one beside you and say, Man, it's not new to me. Amen. You're here today. It's not new to you. Amen. You've been here. You're here. Amen. It's not new to you. You know about this man named Jesus, but knowing about him and knowing him is two different things. And when you get saved, he's going to send you. He's going to send you forth. You see, he's giving the apostles some direction here. He, Jesus is sending them. What? He's sending us out. He sends us out as sheep in the midst of wolves. We think about sheep many times being stupid animals that follow and follow the one right in front of them and run right off a cliff, amen. But I thank God I like to think of a sheep, amen, as being one that's led. I'm led of the Lord, amen. If you're saved, you can be a sheep, and we are sheep among wolves, aren't we? Amen, because the devil, he came to steal, kill, and destroy, didn't he? He's out to devour. He's seeking whom he may devour. He's walking about upon it, the roaring lion, seeking who made the devour. First Peter 5 and 8, I believe. Amen. You see how the devil wants to devour you. We're sheep, amen, in the midst of wolves. We've got to be wise as serpents. Amen. Old snake's pretty wise, isn't he? Amen. You think about the serpent in the Garden of Eden. He was very <coughs> subtle, wasn't he? convinced Eve and you think about old snake out here in the woods when you're talking around or out in the yard when you're talking around man that thing feels you coming before you see it right. amen. amen old snake feels the ground vibrating on it amen we're to be as wise as serpents and harmless as doves amen we're we're not to return evil for evil we're supposed to do good to everyone aren't we amen we're to be harmless as doves but beware of men for they will deliver you up to the council Oh, beware of men. Amen. But we're to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Yes, we are. But that's no new thing. Jesus told us to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Amen. We're to love one another. But we got to be aware of people, don't we? We've got to be aware of people that are out to undermine you. We've got to be aware of people that are toxic in our lives. We've got to be aware of people, amen, that are trying to bring you down from walking with God. Amen. See, it's no new thing. That's no new thing. It's always been that way. There's always been people trying to bring the Christian down. There's always been false prophets. There's always been teachers that would just tickle your ears. There's always been that. Jesus tells us to watch it, amen. 
They'll scourge you in the synagogues, and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my name's sake for testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought. When you're before the council, when you're before the jury, when you're before, take no thought how you or what you shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. For it is not you to speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Oh, thank God. Amen. You see, today, when people come down on you for the Lord, when people try to undermine your ministry, when people come and tell you that you're worthless and you're no good and you can't do this and you can't do that, amen, God told us a long time ago people were going to try to do that. And people are going to do that. Amen. And oh, when we know the Word of God, amen, the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, We look, amen, when Peter stood before the council for the Sanhedrin, amen, he knew what to speak. He was bold, amen, in the spirit. Amen. When you stand before somebody, are you bold in the spirit? If not, why not? Amen. Why aren't you bold in the spirit? Amen, amen. it's no new thing. Amen. amen, you can be bold as you want to be. You can be as close to God as you want to be. You can be as filled up as you want to be. Yes. Oh, you can be joyful. Amen, oh, my. We see that God, He knows, doesn't He? Amen. He knows that we needed a new nature. Amen. We need a new nature, don't we? Amen. Because we were born into sin, weren't we? Who in here was born into sin? Man. Who in here was born? Let's put it that way. Man. Everybody in here that was born, you were born into sin. Man. You were born into a damning nature. You were born, amen, after Adam, weren't you? You were born, amen, into a sinful nature. But God knew that we needed a new nature. You know, it's not natural for us to be generous. Is it? It's not natural for us to love those that persecute us. It's not natural, amen, for us to love those that despitefully use us. It's not natural for us to give to people, is it? Hey, I got one that's right. It's not natural, amen, because most people in here, I tell you, we're tired, ain't we? Tight. Amen. Amen. You see, but through the Spirit, we were taught that Jesus, this is no new thing either, that it's more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. Amen. Oh, you see, Jesus gives us a new nature. Amen. Jesus changes the way that we Amen. think about natural things. Amen. Jesus changes that where our oh, where our treasure is, there shall your heart be also. And our treasures are to be laid up in heaven. Amen. Amen. It's not the things we build up in this life. It's the things we're building up Amen. in heaven. Amen. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Woo, thank God. He knew that we needed a new nature. Amen. Mm. And we had to get that new nature. How? <laughs> Through Christ. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, what is he? He is a new creature. You've got a new nature. Old things are passed away, behold, all things become new. Y'all, I like that word new. Here we are going into spring. Oh, the man doesn't sing the daffodils are blooming, doesn't sing the flowers are blooming. See a whole lot of newness. Grass is growing, done and mowed the grass one time at my parents' house. A whole lot of newness. Amen. Who else is mowed in here? Nobody. You got the one person. Ben Charlie's the only one. Amen. But you see, I had just rebuilt the mower deck. It's new now. I had to make sure it worked. Amen. Or I would not have mowed. Amen. I would not have mowed. But you see, amen, when that newness comes on, when you get saved, you're a new creature in Christ, and you have that new nature, amen, you want to try it out because I'm going to try it more out. You get something new, don't you like to try it out? Amen. Amen. You get a new car, you get a new whatever, a new hair dryer, you get a new what, a curling iron, I don't know, whatever ladies may get. You get new clothes, you get new anything. Amen. You, you want to try it out. Amen. Oh, my. You may be new in Christ today. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Try him out. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh he, he, every promise he ever gave, he will keep. Try him out. Amen. Amen. How do you try out the Lord? Oh, now, you don't tempt the Lord thy God. You don't tempt him. But amen, you just walk with him and live in him. Amen. amen. 
You live for him and go, oh, just go with him. He done gave us a new nature. Hallelujah. He took out that heart of stone and put in a heart of flesh. Amen. He gave us a nature that makes us love people. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Praise We're Lord. supposed to. Amen. We're supposed to love one another. Amen. Husbands love your wives as Christ so loved the church and gave his life for Wives submit yourselves unto your own husband and wife. Oh, my, we see how we love one another. Amen. Oh, when a man is being godly, a wife doesn't mind submitting. Amen. 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 They're not our slaves, are they, men? It's in your nature to think that way because we as men have been taught that from a very young age. Men that are my age and older. Woman did all the housework. Man did all the outside work. Can I get an amen? amen? That's the way we were taught when we were groomed this way. Had dinner on the table, and regardless how hard she worked on her day job, still had to have dinner on the table. Amen. Pack your lunch, everything. My, 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 wouldn't that be nice? Woo! I wouldn't know how that, that wouldn't be a new thing in my house. <laughs> but I love my wife. She works very hard. Amen. I like to pack her lunch. I like to be able to do things for her. Amen. Because we're in a partnership, aren't we? Amen. Marriage is a good thing, isn't it? Amen. Amen. Marriage is. You're in a partnership together through the hard times because who agrees life gets hard? Amen. You know, who you got there? When it all, when the rubber meets the road, amen, you got the Lord, I know, but who have you got that you can call on? Amen, who you got? Like last night, I was dying with a toothache, man, and Mike Barlow, I know, can feel for me, man. He's been sitting back there with one. I'm dying with a toothache, and I told Terry, I said, well, if you ain't going to do nothing, I'm, I'm going to go to the hospital. I can't handle this no more. <laughs> now, I could have said it a little more lovingly, but I was in pain. And then it kind of eased up a little bit. They went on out about their business, hurt and hammer. And then they come on back after a while. Boy, it started throbbing again. Boom, 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 boom. She's like, well, you still want to go to the hospital? I'll take it. Oh, let's go then. So I went. They, man, they still didn't do anything for me. And I decided to point my life was there. Amen. She was all I needed. I thank God and the Lord because I started praying. But I thank God for bringing me a woman to be there for me. Amen. I thank God. Amen. Oh, my. How many of you thank God for your wife? Amen. How many of you thank God, amen, for your husband? Amen. How many of you are praying for a godly husband or a godly wife? Amen. I didn't see a one young hand go up in here. <laughs> amen. That's what you ought to be praying for. It's never too early to pray in advance for a God. You don't want to be unequally yoked. You don't want somebody that's not going to be there with you and be there for you. You want somebody that's going to walk beside you through this day. Because it is not easy. Life is hard. Amen. God's gave us a new nature. He's gave us the mind of Christ. Amen. He gave us a nature where we love one another. Amen. Those who don't remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Amen. How many of you remember your past mistakes? Amen. Amen. Now do you dwell in them? If you live in the past, you need to get past it. Amen. Amen. You don't live in the past. The devil wants to keep you back there where you can't move forward. Amen. God wants you to keep moving forward. You learn from your mistakes. You learn from the past or you will repeat it again. Right. Amen. Amen. No. You see, our past is important in Amen. Because our memory, our, our remembrance. What I think over in Second Peter, this second epistle, I'll write unto you, brethren, that I stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. Amen. Stir up your pure mind by way of a remembrance. Amen. Oh my, you see, amen, how the past we look back on it and we remember where God brought us from. You don't live back here. Amen. You don't live in this mess. Amen. You don't live in that bad, failed marriage, that failed relationship, all oh, that mistake you made, that prison time, and all them drugs and alcohol, all this junk, all this sleeping around with everybody else. You don't live in that. When you get that new nature, amen, you move forward amen. in Christ. Yes. Because we're growing in Christ, remember? Right. Amen. Oh, you don't forget where you came from. When you forget where you came from, you're getting too big for your britches, ain't you? Oh, amen. amen. Oh. You ever get too big for your britches? Oh. I have. You know what it takes when you get too big for your britches? It takes a belt, don't it? it? takes a Holy Ghost whipping. That's right. Amen. God will knock you back down to size. Yes, you get the big head, he'll pop it real quick. That's right. Amen. amen. The 
Word of God even tells us, let he who think he stands to take heed lest he fall. Amen. 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 You've got to watch. You've got to watch, don't you? Oh, my. Oh, I like the way NLT puts this. Amen. Ecclesiastes 1, 9 through 11. History merely repeats itself. It has all been done before. Nothing under the sun is truly new. Sometimes people say, here's something new, but actually it is old. Nothing is ever truly new. We don't remember what happened in the past and in future generations. No one remember what we're doing now. Right. <laughs> Ain't that good news? Nobody remember what we're doing now, Solomon said. <laughs> Amen. There's nothing new under the sun. Well, you just said Instagram was new. Yeah, Instagram is new. But God, all, what, it's talk, what the preacher here is talking about, what Solomon trying to tell us, is there's nothing new to God. There's nothing new. People are people, and things will repeat itself. Amen. History does repeat itself, you believe that? Amen. Amen. I know the young people, I see them walking around in clothes, man, that I remember my mother wearing back in the 70s. Amen. Amen. Looks, like, looks just like it went back in the 70s, and God. Yeah. Amen. Or he's in an old closet. My mom keeps everything, so Amber don't have to do shopping. She just go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh, you see, but history does repeat itself. Do you know that? Man. Anybody in here ever watch stock market? <laughs> Three people admit they do. Okay. But anyway, it repeats itself. You can watch the cycles. It goes through cycles. Your life goes through cycles. Amen. 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 You're in a cycle right now. Like when you start to wash the machine at the house. You got the washing cycle, don't you? Oh, no, you got to fill it up. Oh, that's where we need to be. That should be our nature in Christ. We should be getting filled up first. That Holy Ghost detergent done pour it. Oh, boy, there's a message in itself. Amen. It gets filled up. Amen. Then what's the next cycle? The next cycle is either soak. You go out and have to soak you in a while. Man, and then you're going to wash. <laughs> Oh, the Lord, man. The Lord will wash you clean, Lord. Praise God. He'll wash you clean with that pure water. Oh, yeah, that living water of Christ. Praise the Lord. Oh, thank God. Praise the Lord. Oh, my, then you're going to drain. Oh, my, that drain cycle, man. That's rough, man. Anybody ever have a water drain out the floor? Amen. I have. Amen. Ooh, you have just got to clean it up, don't you? That's part of life, isn't it? Amen. Things get stopped up. Don't they? Amen. Drains get stopped up. Amen. And then, who here comes that spin cycle? Sound like an airplane. Shh. Man, ain't that life. Sometimes we're in a tailspin, it seems like. Amen. Got so much going on, going so fast, amen, that we don't have time to catch up. Right. Amen. But, oh, my. We see how God, he wants us to take time, doesn't he? Amen. Because after that spin cycle, amen, you see, there's going to be a rinse cycle. It? It's going to rinse you out. Get all that <coughs> soap and that dirt to rest that's left out. Amen. Going to rinse you out. And then there's going to be another. <laughs> and then there's going to be another spin. <laughs> Man, see, life is a cycle. It, it continues like that, doesn't it? Because you're going to get dirty going through life, man. You're going to rub up against sin in life. You're going to rub up against things that need to be washed off. You need to be put through the cycle, don't you? Amen. See, he's already gave us that new nature. Amen. But we have to be smart enough to know how to use what he's gave us in the Holy Ghost. Amen. How to clean ourselves up. How are we going to do that? We're going to pray. Amen. We're going to confess. We're going to pray. We're going to repent. We're going to pray. Amen. amen. We're going to stay in the Word. Amen. We're going to pray. Amen. We're going to come into the house of God. We're going to pray. Amen. You see, it's a cycle. Amen. 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 Just like life. Life is a cycle. Amen. A man is born in a few days and full of trouble. Amen. 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 It's a cycle. Yes. You're born. You grow up. You get old. You die. We then we live every morning. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Woo, that's when the cycle will stop when we get to Praise God! That's what we're looking forward to. Amen. You see, oh, brother, you're supposed to give me good news now. I did give you good news. You're born. You're going to grow up. You're going to grow old. You're going to die. And you got heaven to look forward to if you're saved. If you know Christ as Lord and Savior of your life. Not just know Him. Know about Him. But know Him. Have that personal relationship with him. Amen. Oh, my. 
Whoo, but life, man, you're in a spin cycle right now. Who's in a spin cycle right now? Amen. Amen. About all he does. <laughs> Amen. We're in a spin cycle. Shh. Man, a man got a new washing machine. That thing, it sounds like a jet airplane. Shh. It's new to us. It's not new. It's you. Gently you. Amen. <laughs> man, that's the way life feels sometimes. Amen. You know, sometimes you got to push pause, don't you? Amen. Or it's got a pause on it. You know, because sometimes life gets going so fast, amen, that you just got to step back sometimes. Amen. Anybody ever just have to step back and think about things? Amen. If you don't, you need to because you're going to go crazy. Amen. amen. You push that pause button, and it puts the brakes on, don't it? God knows when we need to push pause. We get too much pile on our plate. Who's guilty other than the pastor? We get too much pile on our plate. We try to get to doing too much. And going here, going there, doing this, doing that. Da, 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 da. The next thing you know, you're going to wore yourself to a fries when you're about to have a nervous breakdown. Amen. Amen. you got to push pause. Take time and talk to him. Take time with that new nature he's gave you. Amen. You know, it's, it's a handy thing I learned on that Instagram. Amen. Is you can turn off your notifications. Because every time somebody do something on that, it come up, you know. And, and I, I don't care what everybody's eating for dinner. I, I don't care. I don't want to see them looking at yourself like that. I don't care about that. Amen. And I just turn off them on notifications. Because it, it's crazy. And it just takes away from your time being paused talking to God. Amen. Because when you're on pause, you need to turn your phone off. You need to steal away just like the Lord did in the garden. You need to steal away and be alone and spend some time with Him. Amen. And get your heart right, your mind right, and get things in perspective. Because when your life is in a spin cycle, things get out of perspective. Things get all twisted out of shape. Amen. But when you pause and look at it, you know when you take your clothes out of the washing machine, man, they all wadded up and they're twisted out of shape because they just come out of that jet airplane. Right? Mm -hmm. Amen. As you take them out and you flop them a little bit and throw them in the dryer, and then you get them out of the dryer, man, they look just like they look better than when you put them in the washing machine. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> See, you got to pause and enjoy life. A little bit. You gotta think about it. Get your priorities back where they need to be. God Amen. first. Yes. God. Amen. God. Amen. God. Amen. Everything else will fall in order. Amen. Your family, Amen. your job, your church. Everything will fall in order when you put God first. Amen. Amen. Oh my, you won't need to be ironed. Amen. You won't need to be pressed. Amen. You, you'll come out good when you put God first. Amen. Mm, 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 mm. Man, we need a new song. We'll come out clean, but man, we'll be singing a new song. Man, they sing new songs here at the church. Take us me to death. I'm no musician. Somebody told me there's out of key last week. I wasn't on your feet. You know, don't know. I just thought it was a new song. I don't know what keys are. They've been keys on the piano, but I don't know what keys are. It seems like Church of God plays everything in G. Amen. <laughs> Amen. G or D. If there was an O, it would probably be G-O-D. They'd probably... <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I don't know. There might be. I don't know nothing about no. But Amen. We need a new song, you see. He gave us a new nature. Amen. And we'll be singing a new song. Who in here likes to sing? Amen. Amen. I like to sing, but I don't sing good. But I sing a joyful, a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. See, I know I don't sing good. But I'm not singing for you. I'm singing for Him. Amen. Amen. When I'm singing for Him, He's going to hear it. And it's going to be a sweet smell of savor unto the Lord. But I'm singing a new song of my new heart that He's put in me. And my new nature. He's going to know it. Amen. Amen. Ooh, I'm putting on a show. It's all for Him. Amen. Oh, my. Ooh, thank God I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of the horrible pit and out of my clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. 
Amen. I waited patiently on them. That's many of our problems. We don't wait patiently on the Lord. We've got to wait patiently on the Lord. Amen. He's not going to answer your prayer every time. Boom, like that. Amen. Amen. Just because it seems like a no, it might just be a not right now. Right. Amen. You've got to wait patiently on him. Amen. He brought him up out of a horrible pit. How oh, many of you got brought out of that miry clay? And set upon a solid rock. Oh, praise God. And he put a new song. See, we got that new nature. Now we got a new song. He put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall sin and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Oh, thank God. When you've got that new song in your heart, people are going to see it. They're going to know it. They're going to hear it. Amen. And they'll come to trust in the Lord. But seeing him in you. Oh, thank God. Because you're not going to be using that filthy mouth like you once used. You ain't going to be telling those old dirty stories the way you once did. You're going to be telling people about Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because he put a new nature and a new song in you. Amen. Amen. Oh, my. Look, and people's going to fear because they know there's power in the man named Jesus. They know that there's power. Amen. And they'll come to trust him also. Oh, and we need a new path. <laughs> Amen. That new path. Amen. Thank God for that new path. How many of you like a new path? Amen. A new path is good, isn't it? Amen. A new path is wonderful. A new path, amen, is a good thing, isn't it? Amen. I'm not <laughs> a new path that you know where it goes. Not one that you try to figure out where it ends up. The new path that God gave us, we know where it leads. It leads yeah. to heaven. Amen. I thank God that a new path is a wonderful thing. Amen. Oh, thank God. Oh, we see over in Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, stand in the ways and see and ask for the old path, where is the good way, and walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Amen. Oh, I thank God. See, that old path, that, that old path doesn't mean the old timey way, because the ways of God has not changed. Amen. The ways of the Lord has not changed. Amen. You still get to heaven through the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, my, that old path is the same path we're walking on. That old path should be the one that everybody going to heaven on. Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen, brother. That old path is not changed. God changes not. Amen. He's not changed. That path is any different. It still leads to heaven. Amen. Amen. Thank God. You just got to be seeking Him. Amen. That old path is a new path to some. That old path, amen, is a new path. Amen, following Jesus, because that's new to them. Right. Oh, my. We're going to run into a lot of things on that path, aren't we? We're going to run into a lot of trouble. We're going to go through a lot of cycles, amen. Enter not into the path of the wicked. See, we don't want to enter into the path of the wicked. Amen. And go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. Oh, my. If you don't remember any verse today, you better write that one down and take a picture of it memorize. Amen. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Amen. That's what happens so many times. We start down the wrong path. We start down. Now, I'm not saying you go all the way down. I'm saying you start down. And when you get in the path where the wicked are, your new nature, your new song is going to get messed up. Because you run with dogs, you're going to get fleas. You hang out with people that are pulling you down that are toxic in your life, amen, they're going to pull you down from Christ. It's easier for them to pull you down than it is to pull them up. Amen. you got to watch who you hang out with. Birds of a feather do flock together. Amen. Birds of a feather do flock together. Hey, that's true. <laughs> oh, you see, amen, us Christians, we flock together. We should because we're to love one another. We had a motorcycle ministry, a ride ministry yesterday. Amen. And oh, I heard somebody say, well, they're a rough looking crew. <laughs> and, and I wasn't here. I wasn't able to make it. I was in a pastoral meeting, but uh, they wasn't no more rougher looking than I am. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, praise God. God's not looking here. He's looking here, isn't he? He's not looking on the outward appearance. He's looking on it. He knows your heart. Amen. Amen. That judgmental sister that said that, I don't know. No. She used it in a good example. I'm talking about Lisa, but she used it in a good example. <laughs> Amen. And 
But see how we can all reach different people because we're diverse. Yes. You can reach people I won't reach. Amen. Amen. I can reach people you'll never reach. All of us in here. You just got to reach them. You got to be using that new nature and that new soul. Amen. 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 Regardless of what you or they look like. Oh, my. Oh, we see. Amen. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Musicians, if you'll come. And many there be which go in there at. Because straight is the gate and there is the way which lead unto life, but few there be that find it. See, the path, we got to be on the straight. Now, man, in life, we're going to go through him cycle. We're going to get twisted all around. But, man, we've got to stay on the right path. We've got to stay on the path, amen, that the Lord leads us on. Because, see, the broad way is always the easy way. It's easy to follow in with the crowd and go with the flow, man. But to live the Christian life and to stay on that straight and narrow path, you see how many find it? Few. Right. Few. Everybody says they're going to heaven, ain't going to heaven. Right. Amen. Here's how we're going to stay on that path. Thy word is a lamp under my feet and a light under my path. Psalm 119, 105. We've got to follow that light. Amen. Because we've got a new nature. We've got a new song. And we've got a new path. We should be walking differently. Let's all stay. Oh, how to do how to do it. We've got to walk by faith. Remember we started out with we're sheep, what? Among the wolves. Faith, knowing God will keep you from the wolves. Jesus loves you. Turn along beside you right now and tell them Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. He loved you so much he died on the cross for you. And if you're here today and you don't have that new nature in your heart, today is the day to be saved. He's drawing you. Today is the day to come to him. As they say. As they say, today is the day. Don't wait. Because Jesus is calling. If he's calling you, it's time to come. Maybe you don't have that new nature, that new song. Maybe you're not walking.